wrong with you today? <laughs> I told Daddy to do that. I'm not putting that on YouTube. No. No, can you get out? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that interruption, we have a couple interruptions from my boyfriend and my son today, so watch out for those. Sorry for your eyes, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I created this look with you guys. And while I was getting ready today, I wanted to open up and share with you guys that I've been having a really tough 2020. And I'm sure that a lot of people are going through the same thing as me. So as the video goes on, I'm chit-chatting away. Just talking about things that we can do ourselves as human beings to try to get through our rough times together. This is the look that I came up with today. What do you guys think? I did like a halo goldy look with the lip gloss. The lip gloss I used today was from Milani and this is the first time I ever used it and I really really like it. It's a plumper. It's making my lips you know feel like all minty and plumpy. So I really like this color and it looks really nice on my lips. That's all for my intro today. If you like this video give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hi my name is Gabe. And welcome to my channel and I'm really happy that you're here watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and let's get on to the video. Hey guys, so today I'm going to start off by putting my hair back. I just ordered this on Amazon and aren't they cute? They're so cute. I bought a whole pack and there's like pink, gold, white and a whole bunch of colors. They're super cute. If you want these or you're interested in them, I will link them down below in the description box for you guys. I bought these specifically for makeup videos so I could pull my hair back. Ooh. I love it. I look like a little kitty. Okay. That works perfect and it's cute. So I'm breaking out like crazy. I think it's because I've been so stressed out. It's been a very, very stressful week. 2020 has been one of the hardest years in my life. I've gone through so many things. Later on in the future, I plan on making videos about going through things, how to recover, how to get better. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. I don't know. It's just like one thing after another. One thing ends and another thing is happening. It's just really a little out of control. But I'm still going with the flow and I'm just letting things be and just going from there. So let's start my makeup. I have my wet beauty sponge. I'm going to start today by using the MAC Prep and Prime Setting Spray. I'm just going to dab that in. But yeah, this week has been really, really stressful. One of the very stressful moments of 2020 for me. I'm not really going to talk about it, but just know that that is why I'm breaking up like crazy. Breaking out. I've had adult acne for a while now, but this is just out of control. Seriously. Now I'm going to go in with this primer from Wet n Wild. It's just the Photo Focus Face Primer. I'm going to go into this Pixi Concealer. It's called Concealing Concentrate, and it's in the shade Adaptable Beige. Like showing you in the wrong direction. But it's very yellowy, so it's gonna help me conceal all my pimples on my face. So I'm just taking it on my finger and I'm just gonna start dabbing around where I have a lot of dark spots. I'm actually going to put this right here too for my bags. I'm going to go in with the sponge and blend. It doesn't have to be perfect because obviously this is going to go under your foundation so it's just extra coverage. For foundation today, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and I'm going to mix it in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. 
The Makeup Forever Foundation I have in the shade 140 Y305. And the Tarte Foundation I have in the shade Light Medium Neutral. I'm going to mix it together and dab it on my face. So like I was saying, my week has been very tough and I just like to remember on the tough days that nothing in this life that we get or that we have to go through is not something that we could handle. I feel that all our battles and everything we go through in life are things that we can handle. If we couldn't handle it, I don't think we would receive them. So on our hard days, we learn to be stronger and learn how to cope with new things that we wouldn't think we could ever cope with. So I just like to remember that I'm strong and I know that everything happens for a reason and if I couldn't handle it, it wouldn't be happening to me. It's hard sometimes to be positive when a lot of bad things are happening but you just have to be. If you're not positive then things might just get worse, you might go into depression, or whatever it is but it won't it won't benefit you in any way by being sad or depressed always trying to look for the positive and best situation is really important this foundation these two foundations are really white for my face the past two days because it's been so hot and sunny and I'm so excited about this weather. But this is super, super white on my face. So I'm gonna add a darker, a darker foundation in here. I look like Casma. Oh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is in the shade 332 Golden Caramel. And I'm just gonna dive in a couple spots on my face because I don't wanna, this is a dark foundation and I don't wanna make my face too dark. I'm just gonna blend it down because either way we're gonna conceal and this is this area is gonna be light. I'm going to conceal my eyes with the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer and this is in the shade Beige. I'm going to blend it with my finger. I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder. I'm going to set my concealer with that. I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to start off with the shade Golden Ochre and tapping this. These are super pigmented and very powdery. With the same brush that I'm using, I'm going to go into the shade Raw Sienna. Next, I'm going to go into the shade right here called Burnt Orange. And I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lid and then the inner part of my lid. Next I'm going to go into this shade here called Warm Taupe. I'm going to add that to my crease. Now I'm going to go into the shade Primavera. First I'm going to apply it on the lid with nothing and then I'll see if I need some Fix Plus. I'm 
This brush is still a little wet because I washed my brushes earlier. So I don't know if that's making it more pigmented or if it's just that pigmented. So I'm just adding this color in the middle of my lid. I'm gonna go back in with raw sienna and I'm gonna add that on my crease again. Just lightly. I'm gonna go in with the burnt orange color. Just add it again, tapping. I'm gonna go in with my finger, taking Primavera. We had a little mishaps, mishap. But you guys don't even know what happened because the camera stopped recording. We're gonna go in with some eyeliner now. I'm gonna use the lacquer liner, the 24 hour L'Oreal Infallible Liner. It's in the shade Black is Black 171. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. There, eyebrows are done. So now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara. I'm gonna add some of this mascara now on top from Tarte. I'm gonna go into this bronze booster from Physicians Formula and I'm gonna bronze up my face. <gasps> I forgot to put concealer on. Doing? I'm like, why can I see this? That's that concealer. I'm just gonna add the concealer now because, you know, like I said, my week is going a little nutty, so I'm all over the place today. This is the NARS Light Nougatine Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. I usually use this every single time. So I'm not gonna go down too much since I already bronzed my face. We're just gonna add it right here. I'm gonna use the RCMA powder to set my concealer. I'm gonna use the Anastasia contour kit to contour my face today. So I'm gonna go into the two first shades right here. And I'm just gonna contour. My chin and my jawline. And I always go down. Next I'm going to go into the yellow banana color. I'm just going to add it a little bit on the contour to lighten it up a little bit. For blush today, I'm going to use this blush from ColourPop. 
but this is a new blush. It's called Meteorite. That color is so pretty. I'm going to go into the shade Raw Sienna. This one right here. I'm going to add it right under. I'm going to go into the shade Burnt Orange. I'm just going to add it on top of the other color. I'm going to add some bottom mascara. I'm going to use the Maybelline mascara. For highlight today, I'm going to use the Revolution highlight. And this is in the shade Radiant Light. And this brush is wet too, so that helps it be more pigmented. I'm going to add a little bit to my nose. For lip liner, I'm using the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. And this is waterproof, and this is in the shade. What shade is this? And it's called Because Duh. Duh. Don't move, don't move my thing. Hi, welcome to my video. How are you? I am. How about you? How about you? Okay. So many ways I can see myself. One, so two, three. So many I, just, ways I feel like I'm at the strip myself. club right now. Mommy! Mommy! Keep it. I'm gonna keep it. Mommy. Hey, hey, hey! Mommy, this is over! Okay, okay, oh guys. Give me, give me the money, guys. You're Come on. So I mean, I have to go with the oh. <laughs> this is the jackpot. Okay, well, back to normal productions. So I just got this. This is new for me. This is from Milani. And this is the Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. And this is in the shade Soft Rose 08. Oh, it's like a rosy. It's a plumper, definitely, because I feel the tingly in my, on my lip. Before I end this video, I just wanted to finish talking what I was talking about, because I was talking and then I just stopped talking. But the whole point of me sharing with you that I've had a bad week and I've had a really hard year is that I know I'm not the only one. I know that a lot of people have gone through a lot of crap, let's say, this year. This year has been one of the hardest years for a lot of people, so I know it's just not me. So I just want you to know that I'm there with you and that we can all get through our situations. We all have really bad times in our life, but we also have really good ones. So, so we should always cherish the good times because the good times don't always happen. Good to keep those good moments in your mind, especially when you're having a really hard time. Just so you could try to cope with whatever situation you're going through. I know that the situation you're in is not forever. Bad things don't always happen. Every day of your life is not a bad day. So just to know that this is just a moment in time that you're going through, that it's hard, it's difficult, but you will get through it. Try to be positive. Be positive, think positive, and positive things will happen to you. And try to remember that when you're going through a really hard time in your life, it's good to do things that you love. Like for me, doing makeup and just sitting down and getting myself together is such a stress relief for me. Some people like to do online shopping, some people like to spend time with their friends. My thing is doing makeup and recording videos and editing. I really love and enjoy doing that. At this time in my life, since I have summer vacation and I'm away from nursing school at the moment, I'm just enjoying getting myself ready and just playing with makeup. It's really fun to do. It's just a way to stop thinking about your problems for a minute or two minutes, whatever it is. Do something you love, exercise, talk to your friends, do makeup if that's what you love to do, watch YouTube videos, watch a Netflix show, anything you have to do to get you through your bad time, your bad situation, and get you through the day. So I'm just gonna finish off this video here 
Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.